In this video, I will show you how to turn your VS Code editor from this to this. So the default uh, font settings on VS Code are kind of boring. So in this video, we will uh, change this font family from uh, another font family, which is called uh, FuraCode iScript. And you have to download this font on the internet. So let's go on the browser. So in the description, I will leave you the link for the um, GitHub of the uh, font family. And all you have to do is just uh, download all of this. So uh, we will download zip and save it, whatever you want. So this is the folder that we downloaded, the zip file actually, and we will extract here. And then uh, once you get this folder, you can open the folder and these are the font files that you need to download. So you can just select all of them. Don't select the readme file. And then you can just uh, um, select install for all the users. And it will ask you for administration um, permission. But in this case, I've already downloaded this font, so I won't download it. All you have to do is just, um, it will show you a page and from there you can, you'll have a button that lets you install this, install these fonts. So, um, a new page will appear and all you have to do is just press uh, an install button and it will install the fonts for you and it will do everything for you. So you don't have to do anything else. So once you download the fonts, uh, now we'll, you have to change the VS Code settings so that the fonts show. So all you have to do is just, um, actually, let me close everything. So all you have to do is just go to the settings. And then on the settings, you have to type font family. And on font family, uh, this will show editor uh, font family. You have to select this one. And here you can change the font. And what you have to type here is this um, text. And I will leave this text in the description if you're lazy. Um, and uh, you, you just have to put this in quotation marks, these three um, fonts, and then monospace. Okay? And once you um, paste the text here, you don't have to save anything because it will automatically show. And now already is looking uh, better, but what's cool about Fira Code iScript is that you get these cool italic fonts and this is what I like the most about this font family. So to apply these uh, cool uh, italics, we'll have to change some VS Code uh, rules so that uh, VS Code applies these italic fonts to only, for example, class names, actually classes, then keywords and uh, comments and things like that. So um, in the settings, uh, you will have to uh, click this button here, which says open settings uh, JSON. And in here, you'll have a bunch of settings. Maybe you have um, not this much settings. Maybe you have uh, less settings than this. But what you want to do is just paste the text that I will give you um, another time in the description. And uh, then you paste um, the that text somewhere else in this JSON file. So I, will, I recommend you to place that um, near to uh, this um, area of the file where it says like editor, editor, editor. You want to place this um, around here, all right? And this is the text that I gave you. So editor.token color customizations. And um, you just paste the text here. And what it will do is, we'll, is it will apply the italic font style to comments, um, keywords, and classes, and other kind of special words that um, are important. And you can change these if you want. You don't have to keep this. Um, this is what I like the most. But if you don't like them, you can remove them or add some more. And once you save, you can already see that uh, some italic font is applied. So in the comments, you have this uh, italic um, and also, if you go, for example, to another file, you can see that some keywords have the italic style. And um, yeah, and it's I like it a lot. And I like it a lot. So now VS Code is already looking much better. And um, well, that's it. If you have any question, you can leave uh, the question down below in the comments. I will try to respond to all of them. If you have, for example, any issues or something like that. And uh, uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. If you want more tutorials like this, um, let me know and I'll try to do more of this. 
So thank you for watching.